You should have heard the cheer when you came out of that monster gate with that siege machine right on your heels. We were all watching from the walls, and to be honest, it was looking bad. I thought we were going to have to fight them, street by street. We lost a lot of good men that day. But Bruma is still standing. That's what counts. Anyway, sorry to go on so long. I'm sure you've got things to do, and I just wanted to thank you personally. No, no, go on, go on. I'll allow it. Oh, not even Blessings a goodbye. Have a new upon you. Okay, there we go. I'll take it. I Hiding wanted to talk citizen. to the Countess. I realized I never really checked in with her after everything that happened. And I have to go back to Cloud Ruler Temple and get Vilya anyway. Oh! <gasps> There it is, in all its weirdly textured glory. A statue of me with a mace. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Does this look like a mace to you? You got everything right but the mace. The savior of Bruma single-handedly fought off the hordes of oblivion, entered their great gate and cast down the dreaded siege machine in ruin. Erected by the grateful citizens of Bruma, Third Era, Year 435. Hmm. You know, this all started in, um, 433. I took my sweet-ass time, didn't I? Also, they built that very, very fast. <gasps> Do you think Bird will like me now? Always a pleasure. Well met. Where's Bird? What's going on with you? Good to see you again. You want to talk about it at all? He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. That's it? Nothing? Alright, uh, tell me about the Pale Pass. With the information you have given me about Pale Pass, it could take scholars many years to amend the history books. Oh, well, okay. Nothing about this, unless Misein Bruma has something to do with it. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. Alright. May luck be always on your side. Not even a Seems thanks for saving us from destruction. What brings you to me this day? You know, just... I saved everyone. Have you ever considered a job in law enforcement? <laughs> no, I really haven't. I think I'd be quite the hypocrite if I did. With all these deaths, the temple's gonna be a little quieter. A little bit emptier. Hi. Guess what? <laughs> I made a potion for you. I hope you like it. Oh, thanks. Also, Martin's dead. Sure. Oh, cure disease. Thank you. How may I help you? Nothing to say about everything that happened, huh? Anytime. Oh, are you really named Pelagius? Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Try one of the other blades, perhaps Roland or Cyrus. Okay. Sir? Hello. What can I do for you, sir? You want to talk about everyone who died? You were there. You saw his true nature. The blood of the dragon was revealed for all to see. Sometimes when it's quiet, I walk the battlements and breathe in the cold mountain air. It's the only peace I allow myself. All right, any rumors? Martin showed himself a true son of the dragon blood. But where does that leave us with no emperor to serve? Also, half your people are dead. May your sword always strike true. Where is everyone? Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Try one of the other blades. Perhaps Roland or Cyrus? You're just walking around. You're not doing anything. My only concern is that, um... The katanas I took from... Joffrey. Uh, it wasn't... Named, so I don't know if I'll even be able to do anything with it. I don't know if I'll be able to turn it into anyone. Hail. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What can I do for you, sir? I just, you know, I want to talk to someone. 
With no emperor to serve, the blades now return to our ancient role. We will bide our time until the next dragonborn arises. Oh, look, there you go. Oh, look at that. Farewell. Do you think they knew? Do you think when they said that they knew? Something's Can't help come but wonder. Up. Can't wait. Of course. <laughs> what troubles you? All right. No one's going to hang them up in reverence. I'll just do something morning, myself. Sir. What can I do for you, sir? Like, no one wants to talk about this, really? Martin showed himself a true son of the dragon blood. But where does that leave us with no emperor to serve? All right. Stay safe. These are for you. Wait, that's one. Where's the other one? There it is. Those are for you. Do whatever you want with them. Well, in that case, let me head home. Let me head home. I gotta put some things away. We got two weeks to kill before we can claim our armor. And I really, really, really want to wear that. Oh, look, Joffrey's horse is back. How lovely. How nice. Wait, no, it's my horse now. Greetings. It's my horse now. We're going back to Anvil. Oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Nope. Does the horse not want to stay with me? No, the horse is still... Oh, the horse still loves Joffrey. Why are you wearing... No, no. Why are you wearing Daedric gear, huh? Hmm? Have you about my horse? He's, uh, leaving me. Just like everyone else I've ever known. Martin. Naomi. Uh, Lucy and Lachance. The Great Fox didn't necessarily leave me in tr the traditional sense, but he doesn't really want to talk to me anymore, so yeah. Everyone I know leaves me. The Archmage, Looks the head like of the Mages Guild in Arcane University, he's gone too. Everyone leaves me. Pelinal, although that was already, you know, set in stone, that was bound by history to happen. I'll take it though, I'll count it though. Alright, I gotta put stuff away, otherwise I'm just gonna be ridiculously over-encumbered if I keep all of these things that I'm really not gonna use at all either. Gotta repair my boots. They break after two seconds, and it's the thing of, yeah, I know they break that fast. I know they break super fast, but I like them. I really do like them. Don't need a shirt. Don't need shoes. Carry weight down to 242. Okay. I think we're good. Hi. Is there anything I can do for you? You can bring Martin back. Anytime. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so good to be here in Avenue. One second. I so enjoy looking at all those beautiful ships. One second. Wait, I want to look at your skills. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I didn't see any way to actually change her skills, like what level the skills are, or her disposition. My disposition with her is 70. So does that mean I need to get it up more? Do I need to get it higher? I don't know. Make her non-essential, adjust her base health. Ignore encumbrance, 3,742 maces, okay. Choose a swim outfit, adjust delay between her comments, clear dialogue about other companion, disable romance option. So I have romance on, I just haven't gotten to it. But how much more stuff does she have that I haven't gotten to that yet? Like, damn. Damn. Of course. Do you really? Of course. What if? Tell me, what's on your mind? What if? 
You see, there there are some things here. I could give her a gift. We could have a cozy evening at home. That sounds romantic. We could have... Yeah, cozy evening at home. Let's do that. Oh, that would be lovely. We could get some ham and potatoes and strawberries and a bottle of wine. And then we could just relax together. Is it going to give me a quest for this? I wonder if we have any wine and ham and potatoes and strawberries at home. Else we will have to buy it. I will legitimately do this as a Tell quest. Tell you what. I arranged the wine if you get the other things. I'm all about this. Let's do it. Goodbye. Ham. Potatoes. Strawberries. Okay. Is it anywhere still going to be open? Oh, it's only 5 p.m. Yeah, no. They'll still be open. Uh, I thought you said you were going on an adventure. Really this is my adventure. See? Martin left me, but Vilya has not. Vilya will not leave me. Ham, potatoes, strawberries. She gets the wine, I get the rest. I am fine with this. This I can do. Sir, I need ham and potatoes. The thought of what might have happened if you and Martin hadn't stopped Dagon's invasion. But it's over. Thank Akatosh, the Oblivion invasion is over and we've survived. What can I interest you in? No ham, no potatoes, no strawberries. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Bye. Good day, I say. Good day. Why are you gonna make this difficult, huh? Why are you gonna make this a problem, huh? Wait, is that a potato? It is, but I shouldn't steal it. I don't know if she would approve of me stealing tonight's potatoes. <sighs> Alright, we'll try to find them through normal means, Vilya. Welcome to the Flowing Bowl. I'm Mainlorn. My twin's name is Cainlorn. How to tell us apart? I'm in brown. He's in blue. Simple, really. Well, thank you. Thank you for making that easy for me. Only quality goods for sale here. Ooh. What can I interest you What do we got? In? What do we got? No ham. No potato. No strawberries. Fists of the drunkard, however. I'm fine, but thank you. Take care. No ham. No potatoes. No strawberries. Hello. What is wrong with you people? What kind of place are you running here? You look like you. Greetings. Seeing you just makes me feel safer. Well, let's talk about those ham, potatoes, and strawberries. Can I interest you in some of my wares? No ham. One potato. <gasps> Strawberries. Okay. We're just missing the ham. A pleasure to serve you. Unless she wanted more than one potato. Come back anytime. She might have wanted more than one potato. Go That's figure. Good. What have you been up to? Harborside Warehouse. That's stealing. I just need Hello. ham. I just need ham. Good day. I just need ham, sir. Please, someone tell me where the ham is. Must have been knocked on the head. Talks all sorts of rot. Mika's a sheep, though. Okay, thank you. Bye. Ham? Ham? Where is everyone? Is this not an inn? I thought it was. Oh, the private rooms. Maybe they have ham? I mean, that would be stealing, but... <clears throat> oh, hello. I'm Mirabelle Monet. I run the Foxel, a boarding house for sailors. Sorry, I reserve my beds for seamen. Hehe. <laughs> 
Tell me of Thurndeal. Don't mind him. He's not right in the head. Poor fellow. I'll go talk to him. You don't sell anything? Bye. I just need a ham. And maybe another potate. Who knew it was so hard to get a ham in this place? Here we go. Seven ham? We don't need seven ham. Three. Two for me, one for you. If we are going to have a cozy supper tonight, I think we better go home now. You know, I never really assigned a home to her. I never assigned a home. Should probably talk about that. Yes? Should probably do that right now, actually. About this place. Yes? This is our new home. Who would have thought that Benero's Manor could look this nice? It used to be downright creepy. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. Still, it does need some improvement, don't you think so? Curtains, carpets, a more female touch. Whatever you want. I can refurnish it. Great. Tell you what, there's no hurry. This would do for now. And I'll have a look around when we go shopping. Okay. Talk later. So? So, um, do you think it's time for our cozy supper now? Yeah. Indeed. You know, I'm so glad that you suggested this. It's so good to spend an evening at home together with you. We should do this more often. Ooh. All right, she took the ham, took the potato. Let's sit down together. Okie dokes. <laughs> this is her idea together. Hi. <laughs> oh, I should have done this downstairs. Do you want to talk to me, or are you just going to keep looking back at me every now and then? Oh, you're done? I wasn't sure. Quick, let me have my wine. Quick, let me drink my wine first. I hope you are enjoying our evening at home. I am, this is nice. I have strawberries for you. Oh, how wonderful. I really love strawberries. Welcome to Oblivion Dating Simulator. Goodbye. Now eat them. I just kind of wish I knew when it ended or what else I had to do. Like, I definitely wish there was a quest for this. I hope you are enjoying our evening at home. Because I'm just going into this menu and doing this every time. You look very pretty today. Do you think so? You know, I was actually just wondering if I would look prettier if I cut my hair short. What do you say? All right, I'm, I'm going to be wrong. Either way. Actually, I think you should change your hairstyle too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you are enjoying our evening at home. How are we already an old married couple when we've never had a romance before? Tell me honestly, do you ever regret that you asked me to stay here with you? Not for a second. Is it true? Oh, I'm so glad to hear those words from you. You see... It means so much to me that we are here together. Oh, here we go. You're more than just a friend to me. I know. And to tell the truth, you are also more than a friend to me. There is something more between us, isn't it? I just don't know what to call it. I mean, I... Yet. I gave you ham and strawberries. Does that not count for anything? You know, we, we made progress. I finished my meal now, but uh, if you want to sit a little longer, I certainly do not mind. It's much nicer than dungeon crawling. Okay, here we go. Care for another drink? Sure. I wait here while you go and get me one. I already have one. Oh, it's perfect. I just don't know if I need to leave the dialogue menu and go back into it every time. Goodbye. Have you got a drink for me? I think so, yeah. Yes, I have. Lovely. I have wine for you. For me? 
Great. I like Skimgrad wines. Have I told you that I worked in the wine yard for a while? No. You've been all over. Talk later. Do you like how she wore her nice outfit for like two seconds and then went back to her armor? Meanwhile, I never took off my armor. Where are you going? You're not going to sit with me? Ouch. So, whatever I do, Vilya will not sit near me. If I sit downstairs, she goes upstairs to sit and eat. If I go upstairs to sit and eat, she goes downstairs. Which is why she keeps looking up. I'm actually in free cam right now. I'm in that room right there. I just wanted to see to see that she was eating. Maybe when she's done, she'll come and get me. We'll find out. But I tried waiting until morning, and she was like, I'm still eating my strawberries. I tried leaving, and she was like, why are you leaving home? So, we're just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what she wants from me. It's been hours. It is 1 a.m., and I let her sit, and I let her eat, and she still hasn't completed this. She might get pissed, but we're ending it here. This has been enough of a night. I finished my meal now. <gasps> here we go. But uh, if you want to sit a little longer, I certainly do not. Here mind. we go. It's much nicer than dungeon crawling. Oh, we did it. It has been a lovely evening. Absolutely lovely. Maybe we can do this soon again. Talk later. We did it. Oh. We did it. Now for an actual quest. And now for an actual adventure. You know? This is the very first quest I ever got. Literally the very, very first quest I ever got in the playthrough. And I still never did it. I always meant to. I really, really intended to get those slaughterfish. No time like the present, right? Absolutely no time like the present. I hope you enjoyed your evening, because now we're getting back to murder and whatnot. Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Vilya, Vilya, very Vilya-centric episode. Those monks of the Ancestor Moths. You know, I understand the end justifies the beings, but I hope you won't <laughs> make a habit of robbing blind people. The beans? Did you just say the ends justify the beans? End time. I didn't steal beans, I stole, uh... Go ahead. What did I steal from them? Well, technically the Elder School really itself. Like the Elder School itself as well as, um, what was it, the stone? It's been a while, I forget. Alright, on to way. <gasps> Wait, the horse is mine! Oh, the horse is still mine! Like, yeah, he's gonna keep on trying to leave me. Anytime that I, um, get off him. But when I travel, he comes back to me. And that's the next best thing, frankly. If that's not the closest yet to ownership, then what is? Alright, well, let's find these, uh, slaughterfish for him. Let's get these slaughterfish scales. I'm not gonna kill them with a sword. I'm gonna punch him to death. This is how it was meant to be. Just punch the fish. Punch the fish! From strawberries to slaughterfish. Boom. Hello, fishy fishy. Fishy, fishy? Fishy! Oh, it bit me! I'll kill you for that! You think I won't kill a fish? With my goddamn bare hands, even though it just staggered me? Oh, my health! I'm actually quite hurt! Vilya, heal me! Oh, this is more dangerous than I expected. I mean, they're probably leveled at this point. Like, they're probably a little leveled at this point. 
Also, they are the brood mothers. Vilya just like, I don't know what you're doing. Vilya's just sitting in the water wondering what I am doing right now. Alright. I did it. Wound up switching to my sword because these guys, they spawn one by one and they spawn very far away from each other, so... I just wanted to make short work of it in the end. Twelve of those fuckers. Twelve of them. I was putting them to the sword. Make my life easier. You there, I did it, after all these years. I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. Well, I'm glad you waited, uh, two years to get these scales. By the nine, you've got the scales! Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. Only took me two years. I'll if give you, you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore. But I imagine that I... it would be very valuable to someone like you. Well, thank you. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. I have waited two years for your return, and now I can finally relax. It is a great time to be alive. Well. Let's have a nice relaxing drink. Maybe so eat some more ham. What brings you here today? I don't know. Welcome to the Warnet Inn. Could I interest you in a room or perhaps a bit of wine? I was in the neighborhood, you know. Tell me of this wine. Yes, actually, I'm quite fond of collecting all manners of wines from all over Tamriel. But one vintage continues to elude me. Shadow Banish wine. How I'd love to add it to my collection. Why does that sound familiar? Say, that gives me an idea. You look like the adventuring type. If you can retrieve six bottles of Shadow Banished wine, I'll gladly pay you well. Why does that sound familiar? All I know about them is that they're found in the many fort ruins scattered all over Cyrodiil. There are many forts. Oh, wait, quest updated. Is that the wine that I found? Well, apparently the wine is so rare because it was only made in one tiny batch. It's the product of an alchemist who was also a vintner. Besides tasting incredible, the magic within the wine allows the imbiber to be gifted with night eye. The vintner made it special for the legion soldiers posted at the forts when they were active long ago. It was perfect for keeping lookouts warm on cold nights and helping them see better in the dark. Clever, eh? I might have some. By the divines, you found some! Fantastic! Yeah, no, that works. Hang on to it for now. I must have six before I'll be truly satisfied. Oh. Then I'll have more than anyone else in Cyrodiil. Oh. I can't give you just one at a time? Keep looking for that wine. Farewell. You're a pain. Oh, I want it, but you need to give me six at once. God, I don't even remember what fort I found that in. Oh, God. And now we got our orders, Vilya. I mean, we got three forts right here. Four forts, if you count that one. Five right there. Should we start just investigating? Well, I guess you can say Cyrodiil is wine country.